Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Osip Bernstein and Savieli Tartakova. This absolutely amazing chess game was played in France in 1937. Player with the white pieces. In this game, Osip Bernstein was known as the Moscow champion. And it's not an easy thing to be a Moscow champion. You must be very, very good. Osip Benstein started with e4. Savieli Tatakova played e5. Knight to f3. d6. The field of defense. d4. This is the standard move, even in the 21st century. Knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4. d takes on e5. Knight takes on e4. Let's take it back. If pawn takes pawn on e5, then queen takes queen on d8. This is check, and after king takes on d8, bishop to c4. And white is better. Back to our game. Knight takes on e4. Bishop to c4. Black to move, and black must be careful. Bishop to e6 was played. If something like knight to c6, then bishop takes on f7, and after king takes on f7, queen to d5 check, forking the king and the knight on e4. Back to our game. So we have bishop to e6, bishop takes on e6, pawn takes bishop, queen to e2 attacking the knight, d5 defending the knight, but now queen to b5 check, forking the king and the pawn on b7. Knight to c6. Queen takes on b7 was possible. Knight takes on d4 was played. This looks even stronger. If queen takes on b7, then knight to b4. So he played knight to d4. Black to move. If bishop to e7, just a random move to show you what is going on, then white would not even take on c6. He would play knight takes on e6. So, Tartakova played Queen to d7. Queen takes on b7. And it looks like that black is in trouble. White is threatening queen takes rook on a8. And queen takes knight on c6. How to solve the problem? What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you look for checks? Well, there is check. Bishop to b4, check, but then c3. And now, three of the black pieces are hanging. Tatakova was in a Tal's position. And Tal was only one year old in 1937. So it is black to move. Which piece to save? That is the question. What would you do? Please pause again and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find knight takes on d4? This is what Tatakova played. And it can't be good, because in this variation, black is losing both rooks. It looks like that game is lost for black, isn't it? That is exactly how Mikhail Tal's position looked many times. So, Osip Bernstein played the obvious. Queen takes rook check. King to f7. Queen takes rook on h8. Should black resign? What would you do? What did Tatakova have in mind? Please pause and find the best move for black. Black. Play the move and white resigned and the move is in a slow motion. Queen to b5, threatening queen to e2 check mate. White can't take the knight on d4, the pawn is pinned. If c takes on b4, queen to e2 check mate, and the white king can't escape. If king to d1, queen to e2 check mate. The final position, white is better materially, but only one of the white pieces is active. This was an absolutely amazing chess game, wasn't it? 
What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.